It is a really weird way now. Why can't, can I not just copy and paste the code? Yeah, let's try that. Where's my Steam at? Steam! Steam! There you go. Sorry, two seconds. Thank you very much for the biddies below, Pumpkin. There we go, I got it. Thank you very much for that, M. Calavera. It's very kind. The other thing is, I was missing an... Um, I was missing my orgasm girl key. Where's that got to? Oh, there it is. It's on the Dropbox. Oh, it's because it came from a Gmail. Damn. There we go. Sorted. Sorry, where's the chat gone? Thank you, Kiel. If we're on a sleepover, will, it, will you tell about love and things like that? I mean, we can do. We can have a nice little chat and everything. Yeah, how good is Void Chat, by the way? It's good, isn't it? I should, uh... I should, I should seriously leave Void Chat as the, uh... I should leave Void Chat as the off-stream off, uh, image. That'd be a good idea. Oh, thank you, Sean. Thank you for a whole year, man. Thank you very, very much for the whole year, dude. It's always lovely to have you here. Your stream's still the high level. Oh, mate, you, you flatter me. You really do. Thank you so much. That's a very kind thing to say. I'm glad you, uh, glad you look forward to them so much. Did I, did, did I just, uh... No, okay. Which way did we come last time? Was it gross? How do we get the map up? I know there's a way of checking the map out. There's definitely a map button. There we go, it's X. Okay. So we need to go this way, because we haven't been this way yet. Not worth my time. How you doing, Arth? You all good? We need a war... A war chat, like an orc. Only if it's like a warhammer orc, as in it's a dude orc, but with like, pigtails or something. As is the correct way. Oh, mate. We is like... Orc chan, isn't it? Come on, really? Velvoot with her made outfit. She knows what she's talking about. I think you did a really good job with her, Pumpkin. I think she looks really good. She looks spoopy. We all like a bit of spoopy. This should link up. Yeah, perfect. Cool. But where's Pink's? Yeah, exactly. So the Umis, I think, otherwise. Stupid Umis. We're gonna give him a Gronkin. Thank you for the biddies again, Pumpkin. It's very kind. Oh, he's so generous, Pumpkin. Thank you. Oh, right, let's fuck up these beaver weasels. I forget, they don't like martial arts, do they? There we go. Oh no, the resistance! They got the resistance! Panic! Oh yeah, that's true, because they're psychic, aren't they, girls? If we fix it, it must be true. Nice. Right, what are we, we're about 10 minutes in? Right? Yeah, so... Good stuff. So, what we're we doing then, now that I think uh, people are actually settled a bit, we have done our three... We've done our three tasks. Let me turn it down. We've done our three tasks for the, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? The Shadow Guild? And they can tell us the information we're after. So, which is good. Oh. There we go. We always want to link our encounters together. Okay. Beat the shit out of the wildlife. I mean, that too, right? I mean, that's the very least we should do. I love my favorite thing about the orcs 
is that you get like the ones who are smart enough to realize that that's how it works and they're called the weird boys but when weird boys get too smart their heads blow up <laughs> so they're like we're, we know we're psychic like if we think things it happens but then they start thinking out too much outside the box they blow up <laughs> Such a great idea. Don't talk to those lads, they're weird. If you wanna live, get out of my way. Nice, nice. Excellent. So how is everyone tonight? Level Nori? Oh we got some mastery done. Good shit. You done the natural waistcoat. What have you done amber waistcoat? You have. I guess we should put the amber one on then. You're done with the daggers. Oh, Velvet, you look so pretty. Alright. I think we're actually mostly done with our stuff here, which is great, so we can just carry on. I've been playing Tokyo Xanadu EX today, by the way. It's actually really friggin' good. Oh, this is a dead end. Interesting. Okay. It's a really, really, really good game. Definitely caught me by surprise. Hey, Divine. Oh, nice, Sam Calavera. What are you doing? I will hit yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I will do nothing to stop my revenge. But <laughs> wildlife does need murdering. I could actually smelly port back. But should we smelly port back or should we should we kill everything on the way back? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I mean smelly portation is obviously better, I guess. As long as you guys don't mind me murdering shit, I guess. Ooh, a favorable encounter, sir. Delicious murder. Hey, Iris, how you doing? Hey, oh, Mabel. Everybody gets booby hugs in score. That's what we like to see. I wish I had power like that. Oh, look at that mastery. Got small mastery on the go. Uh, of which there's not a lot we can do about that. Oh, we can do that. Nice. Snake! Snake! It's a snake! Oh, this snake's not like, I forget. Imagine punching a snake really hard in the face. Isaac, oh, is that really not necessary? I don't think it is, dude. Ow. Why must you do that? Why must you stun me? Asshole snake. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Toad, isn't it? That's definitely Toad. I'm the best! I'm the best! Yahoo! Mario! Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. My body. Nice. Yahoo! Amber Talisman's been mastered. We've actually mastered quite a lot of stuff here, which is really good. Less attack, but way more defense. That's worth. All right. I actually probably don't need to fight as many dudes as I have been. Gotta be careful not to overlevel, probably. We did that already because that's where the baddie was. So we carry him this way. Yahoo! Soon we'll be we'll be rid of horrible toads. We need to go beat up that orc with the axe as well, I think. Move it or die. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I need to. There we go. That could have been a disaster. Luckily, the wildlife will be fucked by Velvet. 
with a big claw. We'll be safe. What kind of move? What do you mean, Toyfo? I mean, nothing. Like, do you mean his ending movie, or do you mean his, like, his, um, mystic? A little cutscene? I don't know, can we test this, I wonder? Sorry, Velvet, it seems unnecessary. Ah, oh, I'm trying to, trying to control Laffy Do, we'll test it. No such luck. I think that we'll get to try it at some point. Go away, Toad. Oh dear god. I'll finish this now. <laughs> I really want to use Rafi's uh, Mystic Art as well. We're finished here. Let's just look. Poor Rafi. You can't think of Toad anymore. The last four years have robbed so much from you. What, of Toad? Why Toad? Why Toad in particular, Noble? What's happened? I wonder how we can... Oh, maybe we've got to do it at the end of it. Maybe Luffy doesn't have a uh, Mr. Guy yet. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, you mean pro Jared? I remember that. Why'd you bring a little kid to a snack fight? Well, sometimes you just gotta, you know, beat some snacks up. Well, be done, yeah? Your style is really unique. Your form is really unique, Rook Rook. Mm -hmm. I'll finish this quickly. Be gone, Snack. Don't fear, don't fear the unknown, no. Brace it. I choose Toad. Toad? Well, it's all body shape like this. Oh, yeah. Come on, really? No, Stormy Daniel said Trump's trumpet looked like Toad from Mario Kart. Oh my god. He pulls his trousers down and he's like, and Toad comes out like, I'm the best! School style. Whee! Whee! Woo! Ugh. I actually gone the wrong way. I kind of wanted to check out that other route, but you know, dedicated to this path now. My life has been chosen for me. Hey, Lewis, how you doing, man? Be gone, snack. I'm faster than you now. You have nothing on me, fool! Oh nice. We save. Alright, uh we need to go down there to beat that boy up. I don't think there's a good way of going to Oh dear god, wolves. Wolves? Wolves! This seems unnecessary. That was a snack. Did you really need to kill it? I remember in eventually in some Tales games, like Symphonia trying to get your mystic arts off. Really? It was just a fucking nightmare. Actually having that work was not impossible. You had to wait until you enter the over limit, which is where you got hit enough times. Oh, Jesus. Well, if... Oh, 
Oh, nice miss there, Velvy. I'll cut down any. The Symphonia Mystic Arts were evil. They changed them a little bit for um, the uh, the better the PS3 edition one or so, but yeah, they were still pretty crap. Abyss fixed that a little bit as well. We're almost back to the city, but we got to go fuck up an orc, so you know, got to be done. Whee! Using auto mode in Symphonia probably made the fights really long, didn't it? I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised that didn't take forever to do anything. Or maybe it did. Hey, Cody. How you doing, Cody? All good. Right, there's this fucking unit. Let's get him from behind. A forward killer. Level 18. Weakness. Okay, fine. Watch yourself. Ready to die. Okay, straight in with the Mystic Art, eh, Eisen? Alright. Okay, he's in his he's in his own overthrow here. Mr. Gun! Absolutely savage boy. Nice. If you wanna live. You know when you're over leveled a bit? <laughs> Alright, well, never mind. Putting some posts up on your wall. Ah, what are you putting up? What sort of posts did you put up? Grant a random skill and increase the speed in which you equip mastery skills. Uh, learned on modest rebuff. Okay. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. You That's actually a good idea. I'm actually good going to. to... I'm not in it. Just Sorry, for let myself. me pause this a second. I'm just going to light this candle behind me. I got a nice smelly candle. It smells nice. So I'm just going to light that. I turn the light down a little bit. Yeah, dark. Yeah, I'm going to light Let's think about nice candles and uh, like scents that set the mood, I feel. Ugh. The poor innocent ape man did get a bit battered there, didn't they? If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of delicious. my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Shantae's Every so true sour. swordsman Come wants on, to Shantae. train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. <laughs> and that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rongetsu's a pretty unusual last name. Yeah, maybe she did wake up a bit too early. Family specializes She's in a conventional hug. swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land until he was taken in by an aristocratic He's a sword family. Nerd. Ever since, the Ron gets He's a Westerboo. He's not a weeb, he's a Westerboo. And has served them in repayment of their debt. Served them as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, spies, body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. Yikes. You have to admit. We take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I Don't guess. Don't bully the kid. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. Yankee? That's American, We can right? count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Good 
Cool, right. We've murdered the poor innocent ape, who didn't need to get brutalized, but you know, fuck him. And now we're going back to the city. Have we met the brother yet? No, we haven't actually. No, no, no. It's weird, in Britain we use Yankee, like, interchangeably with American. Oh, we didn't get a link. Like, Yankee should be American. But I know in America, Yankee is not New York. I wish I had power like that. Stop squeaking at me, monkey boy. Be gone. Really? That's been half an hour since we started? That can't be right. Oh no, they must have been quicker. Must have been quicker because of the earth uh, effect. This will be big. What a treasure! Play the founder of Jester Drawers in the Diomel Islands. Some say they were once worn by two twins whose mastery of mimicry is the stuff of legend. Uh, uh, we haven't unlocked anywhere else yet. Oh, so scout ship. Well. Alright, Velvy, should we get you cooking? What about Shark? Shark! Food's ready. It's nothing special. Velvy, stop being so sour about it. <laughs> test bits, please ignore. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of test bits there, Mr. Very. That, that, that's, that's a lot you got going on there for test. Normally we would use like one. <laughs> Damn, dude, thank you so much. You, if you're testing, do you, are you sure that's okay, or do you need me to like like refund those or? Uh, is there a treasure chest over here? I forget that comes back to me. Oh no, we don't. It's fine. Oh, well thank you very much, man. That's really kind. Normally most people in the UK know two American accents. There's the, like, the New York and sort of... No, three, I suppose. There's New York. And there's the generic American accent. Then there's the rogue from X-Men. The very important distinct ones. Thank you so much, Mr. Virate. Honestly, man. Man's not insistent on making, like, the most legitimate bot, but does biddies as well. Thank you. I want gifting games. Which kicked my ass really badly. <laughs> right, into the pub we go. We should put a hand in the fact we bapped some baddies as well, which is quite handy. Oh, are we still being a maid for a bit? Or should we swap around? Maybe we shouldn't be a maid anymore. Maybe we should be Alice for a bit. Oh, Jesus. That's quite nice. Hey, Elder Stolven, how you doing? So, received 3,100 for completing two Code Red Hunts, in addition to the Rampaging Ape. Okay. So the next one is the Corrupted Orb, which is in the Barona Catacombs. City drainage system. Ugh. Dirty. So we killed the Ape and the Viper. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Avaris. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does Marvel Curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie. Oh, dude, happy birthday for yesterday. Did you have a nice day? Oh, ha many happy returns. We had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's Throne. Spooky. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. I'm sure that is a good thing. It is a very in Nominat serious sounds like affair. A ben like benevolent so god. So I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other high exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there, we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. Ooh, homemade cheesecake as well. Ooh. We'll manage Fancy. to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. 
But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. What's the bill? That doesn't look like a bill. Assassinate High Priest Gideon of Midgen Cathedral. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Fair enough. So be it. Consider it done. Let's go kill a priest! Yay! Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? No. I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. She's as good as Alice, isn't she? The church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? Do you like the and little drink me passed. bottle on her neck? No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything, if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you are the embodiment of a bear blade. Naughty. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Killing a priest. Each Killing evening, a priest. he prays for protection yeah. from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. It's like Hitman. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you. And allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Yeah, the guy in the corner's like pretending. <sighs> He's like, Jesus, I hope I don't uh, overhear this. Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem. I said it's nothing! Uh <gasps> Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Poor Let's Luffy. take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. She's so snappy. So we can spend a bit of time getting ready if we want, but you know. Uh, <laughs> if nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat <laughs> it again? Everything's done in curry. I like I it. I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh... <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's what like Pokemon cards. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the gilded Helavis are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price, and the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. Bug fights? <gasps> And they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention. To be fair, he is a kid. That would get my attention too. I was like, wait, do they make beetles fight? <laughs> High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up, and talk to the Tavern Keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. No, it's Show that she told insignia us. to a person in a red scarf, and they'll help you out. 
Alright, well, let's get some rest then. Wait, I've still got to pay for the room? Come on! We know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island for a period of time. What a scam. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. Are bug fights really a thing? What they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? Ah. And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Ifrey brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? A relic, you say? Why do you wear biker shorts? It's possible. It had to be done. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. Shark teeth? That's not where they no, keep he's got their normal teeth, implements. Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. Who's Mona, the old lady? I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. More. More. More! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. If survival is at stake, a fun M Carver. Her sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafayette. No. You and your disgusting words! <laughs> Don't strangle the boy, Velvet. Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me. You know full well I'm a demon. I'm sorry. Oh, well done, Velvet. Damn. Awake or asleep, it's all one long nightmare. Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. Oh yeah, the worm infested cheese. Blech. You have to wear goggles when you eat that, apparently. <laughs> Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Gross. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? I've it's really good, Avarice, before, yeah, you know. lovely. How useful to have Magilu along. They She's said a witch. In the future. Get Thing. in my way, <laughs> and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. Margilu. I'm not sure she's part of our party yet. I don't know what the difference in this particular world is, but she she's very clear that she likes being a witch. Find the soldier with the red scarf. Oh, went the wrong way. Fool! Oops. <gasps> Goodies, though. Yoink.
Poor Laffy, scared of uh, Velvino. The fact that she knows she's terrifying and likes to strangle people. Ooh, hello. We can dismantle some bits we don't need actually, which is good. Ah, oh, sweet, gonna have to spend the next like 10 million years dismantling stuff. That's the only problem when you farm loads and loads of stuff is you end up with this mess. <sighs> Nice. Oh dear god! <sighs> Why do I have so many? I actually probably don't need to do that because I'm actually capped on stuff. So it's probably a bit pointless at the moment. Let's actually enhance some stuff, I might be... Nice. Sweet. Have I actually still got no calisite? That's kind of annoying, actually. Mm, a silky touch. Uh, what else we got here? Command shoes. What do command shoes need? Bronze. Nice. Right. If I dismantle some booties. Amber blood. Do we have anything useful? I suppose I could grab some of this to break down. Would be kind of useful, I suppose. So I do have a fair bit of dosh. Calisite boots. Oh, that's n Having those would actually be kind of handy. Perfect. Then let's dismantle that one. Actually, let's get rid of that one too. Nice. That means we can probably enhance some bits there if we want to. Nice. Alright, cool. Right, is anyone wearing boots they don't want to wear anymore? Ah, excellent. You can have the car sight boots then. Glorious. Right then, let's go. Don't dismantle the booties. I heard you're supposed to eat. You're supposed to eat boot? Oh, booty! Oh, I see. I mean, that's how you get pink eye, though. We need to find the man. He's wearing a red scarf, but not the red scarf. We got, you know, it's got to be distinctive. Let's see your papers. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. Oh no! It should put you it's a sewer villa. stage. Yeah. Do you guys love sewers? I love sewers. You didn't even look at my papers. <laughs> She's feeling bad about almost killing him earlier. Uh, uh, they... Watch your step, boy. There are giant crocodiles in those waters. Crocodiles? A croc's favorite meal is witches. <laughs> All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu, tread carefully. <laughs> Some assassins crew we are. Do I have? I still don't have a Mogilu with me. The Bloodwings are a serious organization. Hey, Holly. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. You got Arby's. Yeah, they have agents on the inside. To Was it worth it for the for stomach? <laughs> are you safe? They must have branches <laughs> working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. No. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite! All that remained was his arm bobbing to the surface. 
From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? Chomp. First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Delicious. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent. Perfect for Mavo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. <laughs> and it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who... <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! You'll be fine. She'll be fine. Probably. Hey, Abby! Godspeed, Holly. I got faith. Hey, according to the drawings I saw, you need to go through some tight passages to get to the villa. With a figure like that, you might get stuck. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the warning. Was that some commentary? I feel it was. Switches and waterways. You can flip switches. Alright. Let's hey, just go there. Look. The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? Uh I suppose we should go have a look at what's down there. But I also want to see what's over there. Ugh, decisions. I wonder if if Lutz could kill, I imagine, uh some gribbly asshole eyeballing your body and telling you you're too big to get down somewhere is probably not great. Broken artifact. Oh, it is literally just a dead end. Alright. Well, I'll take it. Nice. I do like our Alice costume, though. It's good. It's good shit. I was talking about Arby's earlier, funny enough. Um, the thing about. I remember about Arby's when I had it is it's so friggin' tasty. It's ridiculously, ridiculously nice. Just, uh, my- he always disagreed with me. Hello. Dead end. I always like the dots telling you where you've been on the mini-map, it's kinda helpful. If I- is it Arby's that's also called Hardee's? Not worth my time. Weakness to martial arts and- okay. <laughs> No oh, that's Carl Jr.'s. Oh, okay. Did you think you could escape me? I remember they had the sort of same logo or something. Pendant's done. Oh, we're actually getting calisite stuff in here. That's handy. Uh, we're all done, I guess. I guess it's just a case of what works best, which is, um, whichever, I guess. I guess you need to do amber waistcoat. Alright, let's swap over. Okay, that worked out nice. Alright, cool. Ooh! Something gribbly this- Wait, where? Where? Ah! I'll finish this quickly. Oh, I thought they were just gribbly, but they're just regularly gribbly. It's like goblin heads or something. Hey, Tech! How you doing, Tech Dragonfall? Please stop murdering the locals. Well, that's my job. Nice. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Yeah, just a smidge. Alright. So we can go down here, can we? Should we go down here or should we check out the other way first? It's an RPG, right? So I need to check out every single direction. Stuff. Oh, here we go. Right, let's upset the locals and then see if we can get them. There we go. On to battle. Right, we got living armor and some sort of bulk. Oh, nice. Oh, what the slimes? Slimes are weak to this thing. Yeah, who throws away an entire meal? I always find that a bit weird. Maybe that's why Linus looks in bed, you know? If this whole meal's been thrown away. You're strip mining in Terraria. Oh, nice! Are you doing the new update? Is what you're trying? 
If you want to live, get out of my way. Venus satchel. Oh, nice. I think that's a new satchel for uh, Lafu. Yeah, boy. Nice. Good shit. All right. There's a Gribbly. Sort of These people don't need to live. Wow, they lived. That's not so That didn't do anywhere near as much damage on Pokemon. Ah, there we go. That's very distressing. Your style is your own. Okay, there's a boulder we can knock off this way too. Fine, let's go. Right. Oh, this. Oh, you're right. They're supposed to be protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abby security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers Don't a lot of ground, holes in the logic. So there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something. Magalu spent half her time with her no, arms up. Right? <laughs> yes, um, Abyss and Symphonia had the really good puzzle dungeons, except for Symphonia's Shadow Dungeon, which is terrible. You have to lure those uh, little blobs to the to the um, like the door thing, and it's just incredibly awful. Hello, locals. There we go. Here I come. Oh, nice. He sort of bred out of clips to crash. That's alright. I was thinking recipe bread, recipe bread. But I just realised that's some um, rune factory. Again, my uh, farming system is mixed up. Oh, linking, linking battles together is just so, so good for XP. It really is. Wide open? I think not. Oh god, my HP. HP! My HP! I'll cut down anyone in my way! They're wide open. Moonlight Cyclone? That's interesting. What's that? What is Moonlight Cyclone? Oops. Let's have a nose here. We have Rising Moon. So Moonlight Cyclone is a wind attack. Unleashes a pair of spinning kicks that causes a whirlwind. Interesting. Where can we put that then? I've got two with harsh rebuttal. Maybe we should put in a Moonlight Cyclone in here on B, maybe? Let's do it. On B. Oh, the expedition's back! Alright lads, what'd you find? Terrible. Ooh, the X Sphere C. So the X Sphere C is from Tales of Symphonia. X Spheres were uh, the main source of uh, drama in that game, probably. Um, I don't know how, to, how to talk about this without spoiling anything. Um, X Spheres were a very, very big part of Symphonia. Let's put it that way. So these waters are to be the home of angels whose haunting songs lure sailors to their demise. Safe passage is only granted those who offer a chosen one as sacrifice. Again, that's all uh, that's all part of Symphonia. So the angels were uh, a big part of that. The church, uh, the church and the angels are started off the game essentially, and the chosen is one of your party members, a girl called Colette. Scout ship setting sail. Nice. Delicious. 
Alright, off it goes then. Sad Majima equals Sad Jima. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like that spinning trick. Good. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Wajima, is that if he's crying? Or is that Wario? <laughs> Victory is ours. Wait, we've gone down two ladders, right? How deep is this sewer? That doesn't even make any sense. Ah, so that's that one there. So that must be the other half of that bit. Alright, so let's go down the obvious dead end then. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go the other way. How big is the city? It's huge. Like, I think, like, you only explore a little bit of it, but the city's pretty big. Aha! A rock we can smash. I mean, it's not going to be like Silent Hill then, where we go down loads of ladders, it doesn't really make any sense. Oh look! We found the bug! Bug! A foe worth killing. Weakness to wind, okay. Nice, we can use this to grab an extra uh, BP here. Excellent. Oh, that's bad. This one's actually a bit tougher than normal. Oh, this is it. Let's make sure we kill it. There we go. Nice. Kill the bug. Cool, we mastered loads of stuff there. Provides the ability to track a random skill which decrease the elemental damage. Okay. Not crazy, but whatever. Right, so the ring's been done. Have we got anything else we can try? Are we done for rings? I think we're done for rings. Okay. Are you done for rings, Ringetsu? Yep. Okay. Eisen needs to do a wind ring. Let's swap over then. I need to do Akron Ring. Okay, cool. That worked. Nice. Alright. Well, that was an exciting bug murder. Let's see if we can leave now. What's wrong with the massive woodlows? Yeah, just message me later. We can uh, catch up at some point. You got you got my Discord. You don't need to ask me on here. You can just you, you can just message me straight there. Right. Let's see if we can find the switch to go down. Oh, should we change eyes now of his little hoodie? He's had that for a while now, hasn't he? Alright, what are we going to go with this time? Oh, that's the hair. That's pretty dapper. Oh, Pirate King! Fucking yeah. Let's do it. That is an Alice outfit, yes! Uh, I Devour this. Devour this boy. Man, these, uh, these little gits are really uh, going ham on the uh, defending him. There we go. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Who's Seijima? There we go. We can lower the water. Da, 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 da. 
I don't know, I feel that the if this is a sewer, lowering and raising your water like this would be very smelly. Like you'd have like poop and like all sorts of horrors like all over the floor here. I mean I'm no sewer expert, but I just feel this is a bit risky. Oh we got another wind ring, okay. Fine. Oh, that's Martin's brother, is it? I forgot what his name was. Oh, okay. Aha! Oh, I see a cat's chest. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. I'm working on it, Melvin. Perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. <laughs> oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I. <laughs> there must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> nice. That's what I mean, like, you just use, leave a text message. That's the easiest thing, right? Like, you haven't got to, like, just, you haven't got to ring, like, out of the blue. You can just, uh, just leave me a message. Can't wrong one. A top hat, a touch of refinement for the discerning gentleman or lady. Excellent. Should we give Velvet a top hat? Excellent. I'll finish this now. Nice. Glorious. I'm a little bit surprised there, because that's what you normally do. You're Come on. I don't think anything changed, so. You can just, just send me a message like normal, but it's no problem. I see you're playing the Angry Ladies in Dead, absolutely. It's the best way to be, isn't it? Angry. Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? <laughs> Not especially, but I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Plus, we're getting paid to kill him. Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are I'm sure there will now, be no trauma when we get there. Three years ago, no one had heard of them. High priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Moloch arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. Yeah, goddamn humans. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of high priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Sounds like Schnaggins. He may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. Agreed. Nice. Oh, Velvy, you're not feeling that top hat. I'm not feeling the top hat. Ah, uh, let's go with it. Let's go that again. Rosy cheeks. Cute. Atheist Rage Intensifies. Ree! The flowers are nice. Fucking Tipo. Alright. Uh. Let's go with the ears again. The ears are the way forward. So this takes us on the back end of where that treasure is, but there might be some good stuff. I mean, everyone likes floofy ears, right? Floofy ears are 10 out of 10s.
plunk. Right, I think we're getting close to the top here. I'm sure murdering the priest will be easy peasy. I mean, the obvious dead end is obvious. We should go here first. Ooh, flowers. Does it bother anyone else that cat girls have two sets of ears? They don't. I thought they don't normally. I thought like normally the cat girls only have their like top ears, and they just, they just tend to have hair that covers over where their ears would be. Oh, come on, boys. Why so slow? Why so glum? Come on. Nice. I'll finish this quick. Oh no, I left the. Oh no, I left the music on again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get extra weaving here. Oh no, Luffy! I'll protect you! Wait, no, no wait, hold on. There we go, I'll protect you, Luffy! Very cute and extremely cheerful, which is very bizarre. Especially for this uh <laughs> Victory sour is fest. Ours. Right, let's uh, sort that out. Right. Aha! I mean, generally, bigger ears, bigger, he better hearing. Generally speaking. Ooh. You'll be rushed on my blade. It's amazing that doesn't kill them. Please leave Lapa set alone. Do not bully my magic person. There we go. I know the ghosts are here as well. What's the ghost not like? Okay, martial arts. Okay. Except, how do you even guard from behind? I can feel this is a scam. Even Kiryu can't guard from behind. This is one of them with the cat girls. The poor Makotes. I'm pretty sure Makotes only have the cat ears. Come on, really? Nice, nice. Oh, look at all this calisite stuff we're getting now. Go away, ghost. No one cares about you. Makote only have two ears, yeah. Wait, I thought I did this. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's over this way. Go away, weird goblin heads. Right. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Ooh. At least the game's kind enough to show you where the water's going up and down. I feel this bit could get a bit confusing for us. The only thing that weirds me out is this doesn't feel like sewer music. This feels like overworld music. It's an epic sewer, like sweeping orchestral sewer. Especially with how badly it must stinky. It smells like boop. What else we got here? Tell us all the coins. Huzzah! We are out. Hooray, we can continue with the murder. The murder! Uh, let's quickly do a quick save. Nice. Boop. Blood for the blood god. Poop for the poop god. Oh no. It's 
quite a fancy look into it though, especially with the water on the side like that. It looks quite nice. Maybe, maybe they knew they were going to have like giant fights in here. You guys close enough? Yes! I mean, I guess if you knew you were going to have a huge fight, it would make perfect sense to, uh, you know, to uh, have a big white sword. No one can prepare for giant anime fights. You thought it was safe in here, but no, an angry girl with a giant claw was going to come in here and fuck everyone up. Are they wide open? I feel not. Your style is really unique. Just it's not flirting, Velvet. We got things stuff. to do. Oh, cool. We got a new equipment for Izzy. Gray sheet. That's apparently really crap, but you know, stuff to learn. Uh, we're done with these, right? Except for the Armstrong. The Armstrong family named for generations. I can't believe we're not done with the Beast Fang. I really like that dress on you, Velvet. It looks nice. Yeah, that's good. I like the way her eyes follow you as well. She's like, I know where you're looking, pervert. Uh, are we done with the rings, the garment? Okay, fine. Right. <laughs> Just 800 gold in there. Hey, you know. Hey, you doing? What? I was looking at her ears, do you do? Aha! A smell of portation device. And a save point. We all know what a save point would do. I mean, yeah, if I, was, if I looked like Velvet, I'd wear a dress like that too. Yeah. Especially with the ears. A library? This is unexpected. Wow! No, we can't stay and read all the books. Oh, ho, ho. well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh. Secret. Oh. Books in the ancient tongue. Can can it's like it? the old cartoons. Which book well, do we need to pull out? No, but I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Come on, slackers. Take it with you. Steal it! If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for <laughs> once in your life. Seriously, Velvet. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? <laughs> you really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way Getting called out by the game. Ones. Even the game is just like, Velvet, for fuck's sake. Studies of resonance. To perceive ludes, one needs a stronger resonance than to be needed to perceive monsters. There is one reason why there's much less recorded about them than demons and monsters. Furthermore, perceiving ludes, source of calamity, requires not only resonance, but the influence of the Imperium's domain. No. I mean, stealing books is important, right? Oops. Meant to read that, sorry. The three rarest diseases. There are many diseases whose origins and causes remain unknown, but among them are three with no known cure. Demon Blight, a disease that causes humans to spontaneously turn to demons. It spreads rapidly after the opening. Black Crystal Disease, a disease which causes humans to become a living mass of black crystal. The Twelve Year Sickness, a disease dooming afflicted children of repeated fevers, ending in death at twelve years of age. Does that sound familiar? It should. Population trends in the Kingdom of Midgand. The Kingdom of Midgand was formed after the end of the Asgard Warring States period. After the continent's unification, the Kingdom saw a century of peace, under which its population swelled to 1.2 million. But in the ten years since the opening, the Demon Blight has claimed the lives of half the Kingdom's people. Thanks to the foundation of the Abbey, the slide into chaos has been halted and the population has held steady. 
The populace is now largely centralised in the cities, but some settlements remain outside royal control. Law. It certainly seems that way, doesn't it, Pumpkin? Hey, Froggy! Exorcists and Legends. Exorcists are people whose latent resonance have been awakened by the Imperian Innominant Blessing. The Imperium bestowed Malachim upon the resident, who tethers them to access incredible power. Some evidence suggests a very small amount of people have manifested these extraordinary abilities throughout history. They were called saviors, mages, alchemists, and sometimes spirit mediums, frauds, and consorters of evil spirits. It is thought that some among their numbers possess similar powers to the exorcists of today. I always like getting like extra bits of lore like this in game. It's nice. Exorcist ranks. There are currently 3,000 orderlies and 100 praetors in active duty. 13th age. Alright, Froggy. The following three have changed to the rank of Legate. Artorius Colbrand. Melchior Maven. Shigure Rangetsu. That sounds familiar, right? We recognise those people. So, Magulo, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. She's gonna suck you I one. told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. No such luck. Not with Magalu. Not worth my time. Humans! Disgusting. Murder them! <laughs> Filthy humies! We're here to kill one man, and 50 others that happen to be alongside with him. If you wanna live, I enjoyed that in uh, Cyberpunk as well, Avarice. You can just read stuff. To be fair, Velvet's doing better than uh, than Luke did in the base. Luke had a terrible time uh, hurting people. Gave him nightmares. Finish this Hello, friends. Allow me to murder you. Is that scream she does in that one? Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't. You're, not, you're, you're still alive. That's my bad. There we go. Fixed it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Victory is ours. Victory. Hello? Oh, I kind of thought there'd be people in here. Hey, Honor! Hey, dude. Panacea! Some more Tales trivia for you, some nerdy shit. Panacea was needed in a Tales of Symphonia quest. Um, weirdly enough, later in the game you can buy shitloads of it, but for a particular quest, you have a bottle, um, and it breaks, and you have to go for a long, long little quest chain to get another one. It's a pain in the ass. Then later on, you can just buy them. It's like, who fucking cares? But right at that point in time, yeah, that was cool. Oh, finish this. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Crunch. Velvet doing a solid murder. Oh, no stun. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, Vespera too, yeah. If you wanna live. When's my ship coming back? It should be anytime soon, right? 38 seconds, so oh, I'll just wait for it then. Fuck it. Who's Punch Man? That's Aizen. Aizen's a pyrite. We like him. He's a scourge of the seven seas and all that shit. The X Fierce Sea, where we're gonna find uh, a man called Lloyd, who has two swords. What's up, Noble? Bored? Why are you bored? It's really, it's well worth it, Anna. It's well worth it. It's a lot of fun. Yay! Ah, oh. Animal figurine, 
breadcrumbs and mystery this meat. Recipe looks real tasty. A dwarven Salisbury surprise. It's a dwarven one because uh, Lloyd's dad, uh, the main character's dad, is a dwarf. And that's the reference they're going with there, I would imagine. Back to the Scout ship setting sail. Excellent. Right, we're going to cook. What are we going to cook, Velvy? So Dwarven gives you... Recovers 30% HP, which actually isn't too bad, but we're going to do... That one. Food's ready. <laughs> Feeling nervous, Laffy said? Oh, I'm sorry, Noble. A bit. I, I should have just carried on, really. That will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. Oh. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magicazam! Magicazam? See? It totally works. I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Magicazam! Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Ready. Uh, all right. Ready, go for it. Magicazam! Magicazam. I can't hear you! <laughs> Try again! Magicazam! Magicazam. Once again, with feeling! Magicazam! 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 Again! Magicazam! Magicazam! Is that all you've got? Magicazam! 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 Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up. <laughs> oh, what was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Hey, Gusta. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magicazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Rip Magalu's ego. He's got no respects, I'll tell you. Alright. Copper coins. Cat souls. More books! More books? No, no, no more books. Oh, I actually need to pop some of these uh, rosemaries and stuff we've got. There's no point hoarding them like some sort of freak. Right, let's do that, in fact, before I forget. <laughs> Loot. Art attack. Loot? Loot? Mirror Red, thank you very much for that, Noble. Thank you for the gift sub, man. That was very kind of you, thank you. Lavender is a creature's attack. Oh, just Velvy, you can have that. That's defense. Uh, oh, Ivan. Yep. Saffron, that's art defense. Oh, Velvy. Chamomile, focus. Honestly, player character. There we go. Nice. Alright, good stuff. You can find anyone chance you give to the random one. Was everybody subbed? That's amazing. I can believe it too. Thank you very much, Noble. That was very kind of you, man. That's hilarious. I love it. Oh no, we've uh, we've been scammed. There we go. Hey, board gamer. Thank you very much, though, Noble. I appreciate the gift, sub man. You know I do. You're a good, you're a good bee. Magic as I am! Velvet, less shouting. We're trying to sneak in, remember? Oh my god, there's a sausage vest in here. Look at these dudes! Come on, Velvet. They're trying to milady you. Get rid of them. No miladies! Got them fedora lords. If you wanna live, get out of Decent amount of XP. Right. Is this where we're supposed to go? This looks suspiciously like the way we're supposed to go. You know what that means? Checking all the other doors first. Hmm, windering. Copper coin. Nice! I don't know if you're still here, Holly. I'm kind of curious how the Arby's was. Was it delicious? Because I'm very jelly. If it... The door's now unlocked. Cool. Right. 
Now we can go through the magical door. Let's go assassinate a priest. That's the correct thing to do. Nice, nice. Oh, here we go. But first, goodies. Sorry, give me two seconds. Why am I getting tagged in something on Twitter? Hmm. Now you're hungry! You must get food! Alright mate, get some delicious food. Right, there we go, is that? Nice. There we go. Alright, let's go uh, sort out this boy. Nothing arena for- no, no, completely. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Who the fuck's this Gideon chap? Stop right there! Where'd you even come from? <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? Yeah, what well, gifts? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Mm, make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> you know the boss fight started. Stay out of this, witch. Right, let's get these guys murdered. I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The laws of the Abbey are clear. Oh, we actually pretty much wrecked all of these. What, what the hell level are these? 14. Madam Eleanor! Yeah, yeah. Reinforcements. Doesn't matter, we'll kill them as well. Whoa. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. From your true mistress. Uh oh. Miss I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the seventh grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass. He's actually not too bad in this. <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power! Are you Guess what? Exorcist? We got a party member! Wrong! I am a witch, for whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but moats. Human consorting with demons. Have you no shame? Does girl? she look human to you? Look at those ears. Battle tutorial. Spending one break gauge level during a combo will instantly switch out characters and perform a tremendous knockback. During this while defending, we'll switch characters without attacking, so decide what's right. 
Use up to swap the characters and attack. It is I. <laughs> Margaloo, Margaloo, Margaloo. <laughs> when you have at least one BG, you can swap out a character. Once your party reaches six members, you can also press down. As long as you have the required BG, you can even switch out KO characters for characters who still fight. Alright. Uh, who do we want to get rid of? Oh, then pay us back right here. Always invest responsibly, children. Once we get rid of the reinforcement, it's not too late. Not too bad. Ellen's not too much of a big problem, but let's get rid of her extra. So. Are they still alive? There we go. Stand aside. Rip. Rip. Don't fuck with Velvet, yo. She's angry. Oh, oh, oh dear. All we need is a blood rain like effect with that, like a clang or something. Wait, all I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Yeah, this is going to go Let's well. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Hey, Ollie. Or... No. Or was it Artorius? That's the wrong it. name. Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet? God damn it! That false savior will pay! <laughs> you won't be rid of me so easily! Um, dinosaurs escaping. You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? <sighs> Don't you die either, Velvet! Priestie's getting away. <laughs> he won't. I'll hunt him down. Priorities. Well. Oh, nice. That was a lot of XP, actually. Ooh. Using a switch blast will nullify status effects, which is nice. Also, we have a new friend. Let's look at the costume she has. It's the great Maggie Lou. She has a book skirt. You know. I mean, who doesn't? All right, Margie Lou. So you got no hat, insane hair. Holy shit, look at that hair. Oh, I like it. Pirate style, I like it. Japan style. School style. Maid style. Anzu, Futuba, Fut Anzu Futaba? Not sure. Legacy style. Nice. Menagerie style. Mew! Very short. Bob. Hat. Alright, let's have a look what else you get. Good lord! That's, uh, that's a skimpy swimsuit. Actually, it's probably not that skimpy, it's just that Margaloo's quite, you know, slim. I like that. That's a nice one. Oh, nice! I like the stockings. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cute. At least you got a bien fuse zip. I like it. 
maid uniform, that's nice. That's the Anzu Futaba. Maybe that's the Idol Master one? Legacy outfit. The clothes of a half elf witch. Hop on your broom and get groovy. Don't recognize that one. I wonder who that is. Menagerie costume. Let's, put, let's go with a pirate style. Yeah! Pirate Margaloo! Let's do it. I like it. I feel you need like a hat or something. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. I like it. Yeah, we're not having you as the sub. You're coming in, Magalu. Oh, miss me that much, did ya? Yes. What are you even what are you even equipped with? Guardian doll, mana earrings, midi blouse, shock ward. Okay. Castle boots. That's fine. Okay. So not even the high priest is immune to demon blood. If she's blue, yeah. Is, is it risky blue? Honestly, she's blue. Maybe I misremembered. So the priest has gone to his weird little sex dungeon. We have to go fight him. Welcome back, Noble. Did you get some grub? I'm sorry. What, what? was that? Nice. What? What is that? Oh dear. Well. The demon returned to human form? Oh yeah, spoilers. Did you not know that? And what is that beast? It looks angry. There's a barrier here. So what? The Abbey is holding this thing captive? This barrier. I know it well. Hey, that wasn't it in your prison? It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. I mean, he is dead. What did you do to the high priest? What is this demon? I don't know, and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? No, not the boobs. I need those. Poor Eleanor. Ripping ego. Who are you? Who are you people? Protagonist. That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. Gross. Report your success. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogilu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again. You're an exorcist, then. <laughs> eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. Oh yeah, Magalu's not here to answer your questions. She's here to, like, taunt you. Alright, let's quickly save her since we're here. Ooh, freebies. I always like this in Tales games as well, though. 
we can actually, if we want to, we can, uh, I forget, how do we, Why there. Certainly. There we go. We can be Margaloo for a bit if we wanted to, and walk around like a pirate. I like the hat. You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. I mean, and we did didn't you learn anything about the key him. for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcist can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if Only a they smug are one, accompanied cursed. by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malachim with us, we could slip through. But Malachim three, outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. We have three, I guess. Well, I may not but I'm a greater Moloch. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. You ain't got a choice. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I actually do like that there's different body types in this. It's kind of nice. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu. Um. Oh. I, I would like it if. If you came with us, pl please. Oh, how can you say no after that? Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. That's what I mean, Pumpkin. The Tales game's actually really good about it in general. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Hooray! Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate <laughs> young lady. Listen, dear. Oh, thank you again, Noble. The fringes of their so-called Damn, dude, thank you so much. Not. Don't say I didn't warn you. Noble, nobly. Velvet gifts to a nobleman. I like it. Oh. My my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. I isn't flipping a coin with his hook hand because he's hardcore. That's cute though. Stop sleeping above the covers, Lafayette. That's fucking weird, man. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also yeah, it's not sideways, like in right? Cyberpunk, which is good. I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Yeah, actually, there's not actually that many party members in this game. There's only six. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. Why is everyone hairstyle so weird? Because we've got costumes on. We're, we're using like DLC costumes and whatnot. <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning. Especially after a long night of metting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. 
Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? No eating the boy. You're facing the shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? We actually saw the Empyrean in the pit when we were in there at you the start of the game. You don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Yeah, literally. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. You didn't weird me out in Artorius For her brother. All right, Lafayette. said. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, Sorry, let them talk they first. may provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Yes, yeah, Gabri. To the port! I just found it weird in Cyberpunk. I expected like Johnny to like. Birds, aren't they? What if V Not needs to loot? Always find their destination. Johnny just closes eyes. for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled silfjay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates. I'm not sure, Everest. consider them a part of our crew. I have the fear now as well. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts. No bugs. It's we'll amazing. I didn't crash the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Rip. Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. Poor mummy. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. Delicious. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. Breaker, stop <sighs> teasing the poor boy. Oh, there's some, good, there's some uh, new chatty things up here. Oh, and we've got another uh, skit. Let's have a look. Hello again! I'm Dianfu, a Moloch! Oh no! Nice to meet you all! Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no, pretty awkward, don't really, isn't it? About it? Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. That's wise words, I Eisen. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're so kind! You've changed so much since I left. 
But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. Oh, dear. Your roster of the oblivious grows longer. Ah, our boat's come back. Fabulous. Breadcrumb. This will be big. What a treasure. Yggdrasil goddess statue. That's Martel, by the way, from Tell of Symphonia. A statue pulled up the X-Sphere Sea, depicting a beautiful goddess. The figure is imbued with a mysterious energy that causes it to gradually move over time. The Astra Sea. I don't know, do we want to go there yet? I don't think we can. It needs to be level 4. Scout ship settings. Is this the same world as Symphonia? It's just, no, it's just a reference. Just a reference. Is BN for emergency food? Yeah, fucking like Paimon. That got on really well. She's so pretty. An image of the goddess Martel. She takes many forms across several mythologies, but always the guardian of the world tree. It's true. In Fantasia and Symphonia. Really? Aye. According to legend, the tree stands at the center of the world and produces life energy. Martel watches over the tree alongside the spirits that dwell within it. I see. I'd like to see this goddess someday. Well, well, Lafayette. I didn't know you were into older girls. Huh? Older girls? Heh. <laughs> There's no need to be ashamed. It's a phase most boys go through one time or another. Uh, alright. <laughs> Fucking Eisen. Plain pendant. What are we done with pendants for you? Right? Oh, you've done the booties. I think you're done with booties, aren't you? Yes. Milo! A plane pendant. Oh, we actually need to do that. It's got crap stats, but you know. I hear the high priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. That's exactly but what happened. there's also rumors that thieves fell off a shelf. into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? Who indeed? He's always been there for the people. And Hello, Colin. You're in. looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. <laughs> I want to believe it's just that. A rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all. Liar. Sis saw you crying. I'm the one who's not scared at all. If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them. Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the high priest was murdered and in the castle of all Oh, we didn't murder him, though. The bird murdered the him. That doesn't count as murder. That's an accident. Alright. Alright, Veli. Let's get you into... Ah, oh, pirate time. Let's go back into being a pirate. An elf fell off a shelf. Fucking elves. Oops. Let's talk to this man. What say you, sir? Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. Dress weird? <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that job act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Mad Lou. Get right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dub trick, too. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that The again. sullen girl. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it. If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's menagerie. See you at our next show. Yay! Threatening people. As we should. What time is it? Okay. Alright. We can go for a bit. 
Let's make our way out of town. Oh, more people to talk to. Hello, friends. Lord Arturius' speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. Business? The ceremony to move the great Imperial whoa, whoa, whoa. Nominat is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Imperium. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. Oh, nice. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, hey, Nominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs. Fat Liar is a man. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, the ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. Of course. We gotta get some proper revenge going. Can't can't just uh we shouldn't let Arturis get eaten by a bird. That'd be disappointing, wouldn't it? Hello, friend. Man, I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot Velvet is definitely a Cleopatra Jones. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is sweet, crazy sweet addictive. Mm. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? No, Colin, it's, yeah, um... You're right. I don't it's need Shantae. nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the tip. It's Shantae. Red to go. Alright. Delicious, Shantae. We're to meet up with the scouts at Port Zexon. Burbs. The nice thing is it actually levels these ones up to 23, just like they are, which is pretty handy. Oh, we need to... Oh, damn, Velvet, that was a fucking murder first. Jesus. Magalu is basically the absolute murder machine as well, which is great. She's our resident mage of the game. Nice. Stop fooling around. <laughs> I'm serious about my fooling around. Velvet's having none of it. She's serious about her fooling around. What's the matter, Laffy said? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. <laughs> you're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Mala. Magilu is a bizarre witch. But what am I? <laughs> Turning exit. Hi, right, Noble. Here. Have a good one, man. You're Velvet's tool and emergency Thanks weapons. Thanks for dropping by. Aren't you? That's what Lady Teresa called me, too. A tool. But I'm alive. Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder oh, of your no. life. Chip your hands again. on the wheel. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. It is very Demons wholesome, and reapers, it? remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get <laughs> going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! 
For now, let our rudders take us forward! Good old Muggler. We should probably murder our way to the port. It's the only correct thing to do. Hello, Wolf. Can we find another Wolf friend? There we go. Everyone ready to be Delicious. I wish you got a stories on Thunder's time. It's quite nice. I like the stuff with the breeze. I think it's quite interesting. And uh, Eleanor gets quite a bit of uh, interesting development. She's questioning her uh, her role in everything as well. I'm sure that'll uh, come in handy at some point. Excellent. Try as they might, it won't change anything. Oh, nice, you're done with that, are you? Holding RT will do a break soul. Oh, that's alright. Alrighty, let's. What did you learn? The waste code. Is there anything else to learn? I don't think there is. Nay. We're starting to get some more Kalso stuff, though, which is good. Hey, Holly! Oh, what for Magalu? Yeah. I really like that one. I like the uh, bandana it goes with as well. And the hair's pretty fun too. I think Magalu's got some fun outfits. Like, the maid one's quite cute. This is supposedly an idle one. Not quite sure who that is, but... That's fun as well, although... Looks like Beetlejuice or something. How many hours into the game is this? Uh, we must be like six or so. Oh, it's actually 11. Oh, we're actually longer than I thought. Almost 12 hours in. Fantasy game show host, seriously, right? I wonder what, I'm looking forward to seeing what Eleanor's costumes are. That should be interesting. Because then we've seen everyone's. Well, at least everyone's DLC costumes. Cool beans, right, I'm going to uh, end the stream here for this evening, I feel, before we get into another major plot point. Which makes sense, we've only got like 10 minutes left before I normally stop anyway. So I think we shall stop here for today. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the stream, with some more tales. And uh, I don't know, I can't remember what we'll do next time. And we might do some more Haunted Ground tomorrow, or we'll do something else, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, this one's roughly, I would say, 45 to 50 hours, give or take, from what I remember. There or thereabouts. So, yeah. So, thank you very much, everyone. You're all lovely, lovely, lovely people. And I will hope to see you all again very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. With any luck. Anyway, toodles all. Mwah! Take care, everyone.